All right, we are more than halfway through the legislative session, and climate advocates reminded lawmakers today the environment is also dependent on state laws and regulations. There are dozens of bills tackling fuel emissions, water conservation, and deforestation during this legislative session at our roundhouse. And there's also a new statewide attempt to get rid of those pesky plastic bags. Let's go to Griffin Russian again, who joins us from the state capitol. Griffin, we've seen plastic bag bans before. What's this proposal look like? Yeah, this new proposal actually looks pretty similar to those ones. Downey Anna County State Senator Jeff Steinborn says plastic pollution is a much bigger problem than meets the eye and believes a statewide plastic ban like this is the best way to start at battling it. His proposal would prohibit grocery stores and other retailers from handing out those plastic bags at the checkout. Of course, there is a long list of exceptions for certain food products, dry cleaning, medical supplies, and other instances where plastic plastic is the only viable option, but even with those exemptions in place, Steinborn says a statewide plastic bag ban could eliminate 500 million plastic bags from New Mexico's environment. The myth that we can recycle them is turning out to be just that, a myth. Um, we're finding uh, plastics being reduced to what they're calling microplastics in the most pristine places in the environment that you would never think you'd find plastics at all. Now, as we mentioned, plastic bag bans are not new to our state. Santa Fe and Las Cruces already have their own restrictions in place. Albuquerque enacted its own plastic bag ban in 2020, but it was suspended during the pandemic and city councilors eventually repealed it a few months later. Steinborn says they took all of that into consideration. We really tried to pull the best language from all of these bills to not only define you know, what is plastic? What is a good reusable bag that's environmentally friendly? One thing we wanted to watch out for here was not kind of a bait and switch where we, you know, did something that maybe felt good and then replaced it with something that was also environmental dubious. Yeah, Albuquerque dealt with that bait and switch pretty early on. Steinborn's bill was supposed to be heard in its second Senate committee today, but it was pulled from the agenda and that was on purpose. Steinborn says that there's an identical bill that's moving through the House and it's looking more likely that that bill will cross the finish line. So this is a pretty good example of how state lawmakers are now starting to shift their strategies as we approach the end of the session. Yeah, Ryan? yeah Griffin, thanks. We'll see if it makes it through both those Senate committees. Appreciate it.